the Soviet Union made it their goal to dominate space. This would lead to the Soviet officials making last minute decisions that would give them a head start in their space race. However, those who have researched the Soviet space program have said they haven't been entirely honest with us, and that many cosmonauts would go on to lose their lives in the battle of the space race. The rivalry between the Soviet Union and the United States is well documented. Both wanted to have the bragging rights to see who was first in space. It's not just cosmonauts that shrouded in mystery. Since the space race, the Russians have sent various probes into space, and one of these was the Phobos 2 mission, which was launched on the 12th of July 1988. The probe was created with the sole purpose of travelling to Mars's two moons Phobos. The probe made the 254.3 million kilometer, or 1.5 million mile journey to Mars. It arrived on the 30th of January 1989, but lost communication. Before it did, however, it sent back a few mysterious photographs, some of which are used by believers to suggest that the probe may have encountered something otherworldly. One of the photographs that was sent back showed a huge cigar or disc-looking craft, some of which say that the probe may have encountered an unidentified flying object. As mentioned, the official NASA explanation was that the probe experienced a malfunction on board, but according to some higher up officials, this isn't what actually happened, and this is where things get interesting. In 1991, Six former US Army remote viewers were brought in by Russian officials to help identify what actually went wrong with the probe. The thing is, this may sound like something that's made up, but it isn't. In fact, back in the early 1970s, it was said that the Soviet Union had begun spending millions each year on the study of psychic abilities and remote viewing, the ability to see locations far away via astral projection on a project known as Psychotronic Research. In fear that the Soviet Union had learned of a new form of spiritual technology, the United States quickly funded and established Project Stargate, of which had the express purpose to also study the remote viewing phenomenon, and use psychic soldiers as a method of retrieving information of captured prisoners of war, high-value targets and preventable attacks. Research into remote viewing would begin back in 1972, at the Stanford Research Institute located out of Mellon Park in the state of California. The lead researchers, Russell Targ and Harrod Puthoff, required a minimum accuracy of greater than 65% success before an individual could be accepted into the research study, which claims that many of the participants far exceeded this percentage, but were not always 100% accurate with their guesses. Shortly after the project began, the team was able to locate a lost Soviet spy plane in 1976 by psychic participant Rosemary Smith, as well as additional claims of recovered POVs and high-value targets over the years. Back in 1991, the remote viewers who had taken on to find the truth about what happened to the probe gave a report called Enigma Penetration. The report then went on to detail that the Soviet Phobos II spacecraft did in fact encounter a UFO, and that this craft had raised up from the Martian surface. The probe was able to quickly snap a photograph of the ominous looking craft, before everything was shut off. Those in the remote viewing program said the large craft had moved towards the probe as if inspecting it, but shortly after shot a particle beam device at the probe, which in turn caused it to malfunction. What's odd is that various remote viewers have come forward over the years and talked about similar instances, saying that anything we send into Earth is closely examined by non-human entities. The idea of there being alien life and UFOs out there has been the subject of much ridicule, but when you research the phenomenon you will find some high-ranking officials that have come forward and said we need to take sightings more seriously. In fact, one of these individuals was that of Lord Admiral Hill Norton, former Chief of Defence Staff, Five Star Admiral of the Royal Navy, and Chairman of the NATO Military Committee. He said the following, There is a serious possibility that we're being visited, and have been visited for many years by people from outer space, from other civilizations. 
this should be the subject of rigorous scientific investigation, and not the subject of rubbishing by tabloid newspapers. End quote. He also went on to say the following about the famous Rendlesham Forest event, which has gone down in history as being the UK's most compelling UFO incident, that wasn't just witnessed by military personnel, but also had information go missing shortly before investigations started to take place. When asked his opinion on the matter, he said the following. There are only two conceivable explanations. Either a UFO landed there causing the damage, or the United States Air Force Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt, and several hundred of his men were hallucinating. End quote. Another interesting project was that of the Gateway Experience. Declassified back in 2003, a government document between an independent research and the United States Army commander showed undeniable proof of a strange CIA experiment, known as the Gateway Process Experience, that was created to enhance the brain of an individual, in the effort to give them mental superpowers that would help them achieve a higher mental capability than is capable for the average person. The document then ends with the researchers saying that the gateway process experience should be provided to all members of the organisation for heightened mental ability. Although the document fails to elaborate on the finding, the memo then states the training could open up members of the gateway process to be attacked by intelligent energy beings if the boundaries of time and space are continually surpassed. Stating in quotes, Subjects must be intellectually prepared to react to possible encounters with intelligent non-corporal energy forms when time-space boundaries are exceeded. With additional statements that perhaps practical use of the gateway process experience could be used to gather information from such entities and the universal consciousness. So what do you make of this mysterious photograph? And what do you think of the remote viewing project? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.